Hi. Today I'm just talking about a really useful and actually quite hard to find or hidden tips uh, for Quadrix dashboard. And it's for building the clustered breakdown bar. It looks like this. You can float your mouse on each option or each question and it give you more details. And these questions belong to the same block. You must have some sort of experience in, in, in the survey that you have you know, certain measures or questions that be, belong to the same block. And you don't want them to be separated, which is, you know, you can use breakdown bar to do that. That looks like this. They work fine when you have like a single one or two questions for one um, block. But if you have, let's say, eight questions, then you, you, you would potentially want a more you know, stacked or space saving um, display like this. And counterintuitively, it does not use the breakdown bar widget that Quadrix provide. Uh, you, you will need to use this simple chart widget, which is actually not simple. <laughs> okay, so yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it. Um, of course, you will need the dashboard access because some, you know, I know my university only have the survey access. Of course, you can have still have some sort of visualization in your uh, results section in that survey, but uh, this part for this tutorial, you will need the dashboard subscription or from your company at least. So you. Let's say you have a survey and you can uh, refer to the official Quadrix tutorial as how to create a dashboard from a survey. And then you have this dashboard created, you can add widgets. Uh, the first step for building this is go to settings, right? You, you can map your data. You can see a lot of data here. And that field group. Right. I already added there, so you add, let's say, as, and you say, measure group, okay? You can drag and drop, for example, these here. easier to pop up in this setting. Okay, and move the third one. Okay, after you've done all this, you need to you know, save the data set, right? And for the sake of this tutorial, I will come use this, which is quite similar to expect. Uh, one small thing though, you see, when I use this default thing, it's just task set, right? You just delete the, the empty one, you can change this to number set. Uh, the reason why to do that is because we're going to use top box, bottom box um, function in or the metric in the simple chart widget. So let's do it uh, for all your applicable questions. Save. Once you save, it takes a while for it to actually show up in here. Um, so let's just see if it's already there. You can go to the bottom and add widget. Let's choose simple chart. Let's just use S here for now, and um, for example, here you add top box, one box. Right now, it's not giving what it's supposed to do. Um, here, in the, here you can add the field group, which the S field group was not showing here because it would take a few minutes to to load. Uh, so for now, I'm gonna just use this one. Okay, so it's the same, it's just different name and different group of questions. 
you set this to top box and bottom box and you set the axis x axis to the field group right once you do that you have the options to you know add more and move this to three to three right you see the chart is actually kind of forming up um, and another thing is I make it stacked so it's you know that's you know lengthy and you can click on this as well make it more organized add more like a 4-4 four, four, and because one I'm using is 5 to 1 to 5 so that's it of course you right now you have like, all named as top box one box but you can obviously name it 5 or other like let's say totally true right? and you see it's updated so yeah that's about it and you have it like that right If this video helps you in any way, please leave a like. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I will reply when I see them. Thank you.